Hello dear friends, welcome to my channel. Today's discussion is Bernoulli equation. Equation, this is the E for total energy, Z for total potential, kinetic energy of a liquid and particle in motion V square divided by 2G. And P by W, P by W is special energy of a liquid particle in motion. Now friends, we are discussing a problem, water is flowing through a, a tapered pipe having end diameter 150 millimeter, okay, 150 millimeter and 50 millimeter respectively. Find the discharge at the larger end, larger end and the velocity head, must remember velocity head head at the smaller end and if the velocity of the water at the larger end is 2 millimeter per second okay friends i hope it is clear now now friends you have to remember e1 equals to i by 4 i by 4 into d1 whole square and it is pi by 4 and d1 means 0 0.15 whole square so it is 17.677 into 10 to the power minus 5 okay friends 10 to the power minus 5 now similarly a2 a2 equals to pi by 4 into d2 whole square equals to pi by 4 0 0.15 and another is 50 mm so it is 0 0.05 whole square that is 1.964 into 10 to the power 5 minus 5 10 to the power minus 3 meter square and this is meter square okay 17.67 into 10 to the power minus, minus sorry it is not minus 5 it is minus 3 17.67 10 to the power minus 3 meter square now, now friends, Q1, we discuss Q1 equals to A1, V1 and Q2 equals to A2, V2. Okay, I, I think it is clear for everyone. This, is the, this, this rule is cross sections cross section area means discharge through the pipe is continuous so a1 v1 equals to a2 v2 because it is not turbulent flow the flow is not turbulent flow hence q1 equals to q2 because q1 q1 equals to q2 means a1 that implies a1 v1 equals to a2 v2 friends okay cross sectional problem this is you know that this is cross sectional problem a2 v2 q1 q2 equal to a1 v1 and equals to a2 v2 so friends if i apply this knowledge so v2 equal to a1 v1 by a2 v2 a2 okay and a1 v1 equals to a1 v1 we know that a1 v1 equal to 17 17.67 into 10 to the power minus 3 minus 3 into 2.5 2.5 meter per second it is given to it is given
and P2 is equal to 1.964 into 10 to the power minus 3 and equals to and two point five meter per second. So a equals to this value is twenty two point five twenty two point five meter per second. Now friends a one v one equals to a two v two and v two value. So velocity head at the smaller velocity head at the smaller velocity head at the smaller end you got to v2 square divided by 2g equals to 22.5 whole square Nine point eight equals to twenty five point eight meter. So, friends, I hope I can clear this concept. This is very very easy. How to find out velocity head at the smaller end with the help of Bernoulli equation.